Hello, and welcome to the next lecture in Joomla Development 101. In this lecture, we're going to be looking at code versioning and file backup. This will be a shorter lecture than others, as we're only going to be touching the surface of what code versioning is and why you should use it, as well as backup and some alternatives for keeping your files safe. First, let's look at code version systems, or CVS. CVS protects your code from accidents. This provides a failsafe to make sure that you always have a backup of your files stored somewhere besides your local computer. Oftentimes, this is done in a cloud-based environment. We will look at some specifics of CVS, but first and for right now, we just need to remember that CVS provides a way of keeping a historical record of your files to protect it from accidents. Second, always, always back up your work. A CVS, or code version system, provides a way for you to make sure that your files are always backed up. You should commit and commit frequently. This will make sure that any changes that you make to your local files are committed and stored in an online repository that's safe from accidents on your local machine. It backs up your work. Lastly, code version systems provide a history, so you are able to go back and look at exactly what has changed in any particular file that lives under version control. This is an extremely important aspect of code version systems, as you want to make sure that if you accidentally introduce a failing change, you can easily roll back to an earlier version of the file. In addition, if you're working in a group setting, this allows you to see who has changed what file and at what point in time they did so. It also helps to keep notes and records of all of those changes as they occur. Let's look at some options for code versioning. There are two options I'm going to discuss. The first is Git. Git's the most widely used code versioning system these days, uh, thanks in particular to popular community tools such as GitHub or Bitbucket. These two services are social sharing code services. You are able to have private repositories where you alone and your team are allowed to see the code, but GitHub and Bitbucket really thrive in the public sharing, forking, and combination of code. Git, as it's more frequently used, allows you to quickly and easily create pull requests from others' code, share your changes and modifications, see all of the history and versioning, and make for a single place online where code is stored. This is by no means the only way to do so, but has become one of the more popular ways in recent years. The other option that we're going to look at is SVN. SVN, or Subversion, is the oldest or older CVS tool. It's a bit slower and also a little bit dated. SVN was originating earlier than Git, but SVN tends to have some quirks, a larger footprint in the file size, and a little slower for updating and maintaining than the more popular and more used Git. We can also look at options for backup. So if you choose not to use a code versioning system, at the very least, you should maintain some method of backing up your code. And there are a variety of ways in which you can do this. The popular services Dropbox allows you to store files in a folder on your computer, which automatically back up to the cloud. This means you can then reference those files from other computers, or if your local copy gets corrupted or deleted, replace it with the latest version in Dropbox. Another alternative is Google Drive. Google Drive integrates nicely with your Gmail or other Google products and also gives you a single storage place where you can add files. Google Drive has the added benefit of being able to create files as well directly on your machine through your web browser. Lastly, there are other services. There are too many to name in a single presentation but there are a wide variety of other cloud storage platforms you can use. I know that Microsoft has a SkyDrive and other platforms as well. 
it's important to note that with these services we're not so much looking at a code versioning system where we're tracking every change and every possible um, history of every file. Instead we're merely providing a place that's off your local computer to store your files. So this is a great first step in beginning to use some sort of method that's not on your local machine to store your files. As we continue through the series, you will see how I integrate Git, particularly GitHub, in my code as we create various code bits. I would encourage you, as you begin writing code, to make sure that you choose the product or service that fits your environment best and begin using some method of backing up your code as well as tracking your code version immediately in your work. If you have questions, comments, please feel free to leave them and we'll address each of them in turn. Thank you.